European tour, so we're really excited to be here and, and play for like a whole other group of people that have never really seen us live. Yeah. And um, where in Europe you will perform? Um, I don't know the name of this place, <laughs> but we'll be perform. What's the name of this club? Haute Fabrique. Haute Fabrique. We'll be performing Red Factory. At the Red Factory tonight. Have you been in which uh, countries still? Well, we started in um, Warsaw, then we went to Poznan, then we went to Berlin, and Hamburg, and Vienna, and tonight we're in Zurich. And what's the thing you like most about Zurich? I love being on the road because you have a chance to play every night pretty much, you know? You, you have a chance to just play every night and playing every night just sharpens your 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 chops and just helps you to reach a lot of people because you know so many people are coming out now so I have a lot of fun playing for a lot of people and um, are the European people different than the American ones? I think um, I think definitely they are different in which way? they're very enthusiastic you know it's It's um, it's kind of surprising, and it, it was a bit shocking too because we didn't expect so many people to be at all these shows. But the shows have just been crowded, you know, lots and lots of people, and very enthusiastic. They come up and talk to us, and we're selling a lot of CDs and, and vinyl mm -hmm. and T-shirts and stuff. So it's it's a good feeling for us. And we're very happy to be here. And the American fans aren't very outgoing in that way? Like they are, but I think there's a, like, a, it's even more electrifying here, you know, it's, it's just more electrifying here in Europe. Right, and um, have you seen a little from, from uh, Europe, so your first time in Europe, and um, I think it could be nice to see something else? Yeah, we've seen some really, really beautiful architecture, and some really really amazing people we've met some really really great people and the food is awesome and it's just a really really beautiful spirit here is there a city you like most wow that's kind of hard to say because we're in the we're still in the middle of the tour mm -hmm. so i like everywhere that i've been so far you know each place is different and it has its own um flair about it And where are going to play in the next days and weeks? The next shows are tomorrow we play in Stewart Guard. We're gonna go to gonna play in Cologne. Um, um Amsterdam, Rotterdam. There are a few more places but I can't remember them all. But we're we're gonna do this tour and then when we finish this tour, then we're gonna go to Japan for two shows. And then we go back to the States. And um, could you, uh, do you have some songs you really like to perform? Or is there a special song you like to perform most? This whole set, you know, because this is a really um, beautiful record, the new record, Suspicious Package. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very emotional album and it's a lot of um, beautiful songs and songwriting on it. So I, I love playing like a lot of the songs off that album. My favorite probably is um, Cassandra. Cassandra is an awesome song. I love playing that song. And um, is it important for you to, um, if the fans say something to, to you, um, they criticize something or they uh, said, or I 
I really love this song or this one. And do you have often dialogues with uh, with the fans in that way? Yeah, sure. We try to make ourselves accessible to the audience because. You know, this is who we're here for. We're here for the people to come see us, you know, and we're, we're here for them. This music is for them, you know. And as soon as we get off stage, we go right over to the merch table where they sell the merch. And we talk to people, we sign records and CDs and T-shirts, and we really try to have a rapport with their fans. Um, yesterday I met this guy um, from Mexico, and he's really, really, really excited and enthusiastic about seeing us. Mm -hmm. He wants us to come down and play in Mexico. And I met a guy in Hamburg mm -hmm. a few nights ago. We played there. And then he came uh, to Oktoberfest. And then he left Oktoberfest and came to our show. Mm -hmm. And he was just telling us how much he enjoyed you know, the record. And he was really happy to see it live. So um, it's, it's really, really important, you know. And then I remember also in Berlin, a guy came up to me. Mm -hmm. And we were doing an interview for a magazine, and he waited like 20, 30 minutes, and then he came over, and he said he was really happy to see us, but he was really disappointed because there was too many photographers and, and cameras, and he said he just wanted to move them out of the way so he could see the show. So it was his honest opinion and his, his honest thoughts, and I really appreciated that. How do you handle it if people come and criticize something, or doesn't it happen? Oh, I listen to it. You know, if people take the time to come say something to me, I'm going to listen to it because it's important. You know, it's what they think and what they feel. And at the end of the day, this is what this is for them. You know, they came to see us, so I think we should give them some time to listen to what they have to say. It's very important. Um, one question. Um, at last, um, what do you like more? Um, being on tour or um, sing, uh, performing in the studio? Wow, that's a heavy question. I love playing live, you know? I like to play in the studio. I love making a record or creating something. You know, it's like a work of art, you know? An artist will be in a studio and he'll do his work and get his dream across or his thoughts. But then, at some point, they have to take the pictures to an exhibition. Mm -hmm. The same way with the record, you know? You get your thoughts out, your, your music, your lyrics, your, your feelings, and that captures a moment in your life and the life of the band. But then afterwards, you have to go out. So I would have to say half and half. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.